Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. This is part two of Loot's Quest, uh, two of three, because this quest is so damn short. Uh, so I uh, spent the last day or two just leveling loot up a little bit, and so let me just show you what I uh, came up with. So, of course, uh, you might be looking at this and you might be thinking to yourself, well, these stats really aren't that high, but because Loot's Quest is so easy, this is really all you need, is you just need some... Um, I would say once you get your characters, your human characters anyway, up until like the, the mid 500 HP range, you're probably in good shape. Um, of course, you want to make sure you do tokenomics and get all the good armor and the good weapons and things like that. Uh, but one thing I should point out is that I have what are called the, uh, the overpowered twins, uh, T2 T260 and Engineer Car. And let me just show you what they're equipped with. Engineer Car has two powered suits and a hyper blaster. And so does... Uh, K260, and so as you can see, these uh, stats are just ridiculous. Uh, 99 quickness on T260G. Uh, just very, very high defense, both 99 for those two. So uh, they're actually, they're not going to go first, but because you have quick draw for uh, for Captain Hamilton, which is, of course, a very useful skill. So she'll always go first, but these two will always follow up. So um, just for future reference, if you have somebody using a gun, and you you have these two robots with very very high quickness. It's it's a really great initiative for battle because it means that they'll go before anybody else. So if you need them to heal them or anything like that, it's absolutely fine. Uh, I should mention I have not gotten uh, plural slash for the, either of these guys yet, but in this in this quest I'm not really going to need them that much. For some of the later ones, you definitely will. Uh, but for loot's quests, you can it's you really don't have to go all out. Um, just make your guys decently strong. So anyway. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you what, what is basically the last of the side quests. Uh, from this point on, we're going to be seeing just all the stories for uh, all the quests in Saga Frontier. So remember how uh, in Red's quest, we were going for the cards, and we went to Irpo, and Loot or uh, Fuse was in your party, and so he just kind of gave you the card. Well, with every other, with every other, um, with every other character, it's a little bit different. So you have to go up here and talk to this woman. Those you can't go in, but you want to get the shield card, all right. And of course you have to initiate the quest before you can do that too. Otherwise you just don't get a response. All right, so now we're in the boardroom and there's Fuse, there's our friend. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he's, he's saying that he can't just give it to you. But uh, now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to help him out with something. It's kind of a tit for tat. So now he's gonna take you to Musperiburg not the same Musperiburg that you know, not the uh, the the castle of the uh, the Ring Lord or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there's a flower on top, and you're going to be go going to get it. So uh, yeah, Fuse joins you, but if you lose this mission, uh, he he leaves your party. If you win it though, you get to keep him. So if you ever feel like using Fuse, going on the card quest is the way to go. So this mountain has a few interesting things on it. Um, so one thing I should mention, just right now, let me pause it, is see that, that fairy right there? Uh, there's this weird thing on this mountain where if you actually kill this fairy and you go a couple screens up, uh, there might be a snowman that you have to fight. And if you fight the snowman, uh, there's a ice wall that unfreezes. You can actually pick up uh, another character, uh, Suzaku. He's a monster. Uh, just like the Suzakus that we've used before with our mystics. Um, and he can join you. Uh, this is actually not something that I'm going to be showing, just because it's it's really based on randomness. Like, you have to go back, fight this little fairy a couple times, and maybe the snowman will appear. And Suzaku is a pretty powerful character, but like with most monsters, he has limited armor. So, I'm just going to show you where you can get those things, but I'm not going to actually go through the process. So, anyway, let's go up this mountain. These, these enemies are actually pretty easy to avoid. Um, and they're not special. So this cave is actually kind of interesting. So let's go into this cave and see what's up. Oh my god, it's a dragon. So we're going to be fighting the dragons here. We've got one red one and one re one black one. And uh, I, I haven't really shown this earlier, but the black dragons are actually... They're significantly more powerful than the red ones. The red ones are not easy, and they do take, uh, they do take a little bit to bring down, but it's not really that hard. So anyway, I thought I'd give, I, I thought I'd take this opportunity just to discuss a few things about 
um, where this game is going and some future endeavors as well, because these guys are actually pretty easy. But uh, one thing that I'm going to be saying about the rest of my LPs is that uh, you've pretty much seen Mystics for the last time. Um, I don't really plan on using any sort of uh, Mystic characters in the future. Um, even though Acelus is great, you don't get to really use her in um, any sort of future in any sort of future quests. Um, you actually do get to use her in one of the remaining quests, but only temporarily, just like with Red. So we're not going to be seeing him anymore, or her anymore, or any type of Mystic, even Miser Thyme. Uh, just because she's really useful with uh, or Luge or Acelus' quest, but I kind of like using the other characters and some of the other ones. Uh, also, probably not going to be using Rouge anymore. Um, as awesome as a character as he is, uh, I feel like it's time to give him a break. He's been sort of a loyal foot soldier in all my other quests, and um, just going through the the rune quests and the uh, the card quests can be kind of a pain. So, probably gonna retire him. And that also is the same for loot too. Is that uh, I feel like this is gonna be loot's sort of last quest that I'm gonna be using him for. Uh, you will see him being used temporarily in future quests, but uh, for the most part, I'm not going to be making him a permanent party member after this. Even though he's been awesome, Loot actually is a very, very fun character to develop. Um, and then finally, I should say that, uh, ooh, looks like, looks like Captain Hamilton needs some recovery. But fortunately, this, uh, this dragon isn't too hard. Ooh, headwind, yay! So anyway, uh, like I was saying, a lot of the... The future quests that I'm going to be showing are going to be a lot shorter. Um, not as short as this one, of course, because this is this is only going to be three videos long. But since we've seen all, since I've shown you pretty much all of the side quests in this game, um, there's probably not going to be any more. Uh, the videos are going to be a lot. The 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 individual uh, quests are going to just seem a lot shorter, just because I'm only going to be focusing on the stories. And so that means that. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be spending a little, only a little bit of time, but I'm going to be doing a lot of off-screening, so that's just uh, something to keep in mind. So it's going to seem like it's going to be a lot shorter, and the footage that you're going to be watching is going to be a lot less, but uh, in spite of that, I'm still going to be spending a significant amount of time playing these quests, and actually uh, the next one that I'm planning on doing is, is fairly difficult, so it's just something to keep in mind. Alright, so I think this dragon's almost dead. Uh, stone gas, of course, is a pain in the butt, and uh, it's completely ineffectual on the Super 60 g and we are taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. Uh, we should be able to finish these guys off. Uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, again, we'll probably be able to survive. I know these two will. These two are really hard to kill, thankfully. I'm going to use Magnify, see how well that works, because we're almost out of ammo. See, Magnify actually is a... Uh, it's something that does a lot more damage. We've seen this before. There we go. He's gone. 6,000 damage. Wow. All right, so the only one who be benefits from that is, uh, of course, Gen. But at this point in the game, it wouldn't have given us a lot anyway. So anyway, there we are. Pick up some gold. Yeah, 1,000 credits. Not bad. Got the uh, the gold fleece. Octopus board. Ooh, octopus board's pretty good. Let's see how that, let's see how that fits on some of these guys. Yeah, put on engineer car. Why not? Octopus board. Oh, okay, that actually doesn't do as well. Uh, but his strength—his strength's gone up. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I think I think for now I will. I'll keep the memory board on him or the secret board actually. There we go. All right. That's that's fair enough for now. And so then you got the sanctuary stone, which is great, and the Lord Star. And let me just show you what that's all about. Um, might as well put it on loot. It's uh, you know, it's not as powerful as the zero star, but it's kind of nice for the uh, the du double gale slash, of course. All right, let's so let's continue up the mountain now. So anyway, yeah, that's that's probably one of the main reasons to come up here, just to fight those two dragons and get all that nifty loot. Kind of nice. Monsters here are fairly easy to dodge, but can be a little bit tricky. All right, so just to give you an idea, this is the uh, this is the frozen Suzaku. Um, a couple screens up from now, you're going to find that there's the possibility of a snowman appearing. You fight the snowman, and this ice will be undone, and you just kind of walk up to Suzaku, and he joins you. Um, he doesn't even say anything. He just, like, he literally disappears into your party. So, in case you're interested in getting him. There's also a lot of YouTube videos on how exactly it's done, so I, I would recommend those. I'm just not going to be doing that. 
And out here, of course, would be the possibility. This would be the, where the, uh, the snowman would appear. But of course he's not, so you would have to go back and fight the fairy and hope that he reappears. So, uh, pretty, very random. That's one of the reasons why I don't like it. All right, so let's continue venturing up this mountain. We're almost at the top. Pretty straightforward. I kind of noticed this is actually probably the only places in the game that has no sound whatsoever. Um, except for, like, the Time Lords region when the, and nothing's working. But that's about it. All right, so um, before you go and pick up one of those flowers, I do recommend you save or at least, uh, you know, have a quick save. So let's go pick one up. There it is. And we're being attacked by Suzaku. Not the same one from downstairs, of course. So this Suzaku, actually, if I recall, is a little bit more powerful than your standard Suzaku that you might fight uh, in the bio research lab. So, you know, the usual uh, the, the usual strategy for this guy, of course, is to try to use projectile attacks. Um, but that loot I actually don't have any at the moment, but Trick Shot is never a bad thing. Um, Swallow Swing, Hyper Blaster, you should be, we should be absolutely fine against this guy. Yeah, Trick Shot's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, almost 3,000. Nice. Beak is blocked. Destruction beam. Another destruction beam. Yeah, I believe this Suzaku has a, a little bit more HP. Same techniques, same basic strength, but just a little bit stronger. See? That that would have killed a normal... A normal Suzaku would have been dead by now, so... Uh, the only thing to watch out, of course, is that Suzakus do use Heat Wave. Um, and that, that'll hurt a lot of people, but even in our case, we should be able to survive. Trick shot it once again. Really nice to have that going first. Gonna breathe fire on loot and actually might hurt him. Might take him out. Oh, okay, he survived. Loot's a survivor. That's awesome. And so hopefully this will finish him off. I think it should, actually. Yeah, this is like a 20,000 hit uh, Suzaku. Oh, there we go. Not too hard. Pretty simple. And, of course, Luke gets a nice little HP boost, so that's never a bad thing. Whee! All right. Fantastic. And we are successful. And there's the shield card. Took us a little bit more work to get that than if we just had red with us, but uh, at least it does pr propose a little bit of a challenge. All right, so we... That's the last of the side quests for Saga Frontier. And from this point out, it's going to be pretty much just all story-oriented. story, story oriented. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, of course, is I'm going to be making my final preparations, and we'll be showing you the finale of Loot's Quest. Very, uh, it's, it's over just as it's beginning. So this is the Benjinator with Let's Play Saga Frontier Loot's Quest, and I'll see you next time.